Alright guys, let's go to 1-1. One, one. Treasure hunt. Alright, first we reveal the lucky fruit of the day, which gives us extra points when we eat it. And that lucky fruit is... Banana! Ooh, banana! Anyways, uh, yep, yeah, you get to select your Yoshi in this game. Woohoo! Um, you select between eight different colors. And by eight, I mean six, because I can't... Because I can't count at all. Or can I? Anyways, we got green, blue, gold, or yellow, whatever, darker blue, red, and pink. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the green Yoshi! Yoshi! And we just went straight to the level! That was weird. That was a weird transition right there. As you can see this um, thing around the, the screen, this is the... This is the, the fruit frame. And it... And if you fill it up, you complete the level. You can get rid of it by pressing L, I think this is? Yeah, I think this is L. And you can throw eggs with Z, which I didn't mean to do right there. If you press R, you can sniff around for hidden stuff. You can jump, obviously. Flutter jump, if you hold the button. And the air. Sneaky melon right there. And these will give you eggs that you can throw at stuff, like this! Yep, I ate the lucky fruit right there, and yeah, you get more. You get more points, that's what the hearts are. The part, the hearts are actually the mood that you are, but it's also points. Also, you can see that every Yoshi has a different favorite food. This Yoshi's happen, happen to be, um, melons. Water melons, I mean. They're different between water melons and regular melons. Melons give you more. As you can see also the, the eggs that you pop out. <laughs> the eggs you pop out, why is it like that? Uh, they're the same color as the shy guy that you eat. And that guy's a jerk. Also, regular melons, those those um, blue ones, actually do give you quite a, quite a few points, if you care about points. These are Miss Warp. You can use them to go between levels all throughout them. If you go multiple ones. This is Pachyderm, an elephant that likes blocking you out of the way unless you smash him by pressing down in, down in midair and then go to the other path. This is a thing that you can lick and go wee! I just like to make that noise. And here's another pack e derm. Oh my god, the pun. Alright, and this is a flower. You can eat it and you don't get any points from it. You just eat it for um for health. Which also represents kind of your mood. It's happy right now, so I guess Yoshi's happy. Is that you is that your tongue, Yoshi? Or are you just happy to see me? This um, question mark block that you see in regular Super Mario games, it just actually starts a mini game, which I'm going to go ahead and do right now. It's a race in this one. You pretty much just race to the end before that chain chop on the screen like eats all those um, melons. I pretty much get. I pretty much want, want, want to try to get all the melons. Because if you do, you get something nice. You get something nice. Well, you don't really have to get all of them. Just enough. And I got all of them. I got all seven. And Lucky Two comes up and gives us a bunch of melons. Mine. And if you eat enough of them, you get a super happy heart flying from the sky. You eat it and ooh, hey, why appeared? But you also get um um the the happy heart gives you invincibility, obviously. Because it's like Starman. It also gives you a long tongue and a power to make things turn into fruit by just smashing next to them. Nice, huh? These pots are like pipes in regular Super Mario games. This is not a Super Mario game, though. So, this is not a Super Mario pipe. This is a pot. A pot is not a pipe. You press down, you go through them. And you come out of nowhere. I don't know where that was. <laughs> Nom. I just want to say that once. I just want to say nom once, alright? This right here is Poochie! Poochie! Poochie was in um, Yoshi's Island on the SNES. In that game, you got to ride on Poochie's head. But you can't do that in this game. Instead, Poochie does something different. Let's get... Let's uh, free Yoshi... Free Poochie here. Because his owners would be so um, glad that we did. Oh wait, no, his owners aren't even here. 
And then who tied him up to the tree? I don't know. Anyways, uh, Poochie would sniff out things for you and bark at the parts where there are stuff. Oh, I'm gonna smash that guy. That shy guy. I'm not gonna try getting all the fruit on my one go. Um, because um, I want to show off getting these throughout the levels. There are three giant hearts in the levels. And if you get all three, you open up all the, the levels for the next page. I think you open up the same level with the same number that you got from the previous page. Oh, I'm not very sure. But anyways, I'm going to try and get all the hearts in this game. Because. Because. Yeah, just because. I want to just eat that banana. It's the, it's the lucky fruit of the day. Um, I think that the hearts might be, like, hard to get later. I don't know. This is the first level, after all. Anyways, there's none hearts. Just have to be there. Let's find the last heart, shall we? Come on, Poochie. Wait a minute, what's that over there? I, I forgot to notice that. Poochie. Yeah, there we go. And there's a third Packy germ right there. I mean, not a Packy germ, I mean a Miss Warp, actually. And this is a bee! You can eat bees, and they give you a lot of points. Because they're bees. And there's a, there's a question mark block up there. I guess not all of them give you mini games. This one actually gives you another heart. Oh wait, no, they give you just coins, actually. Which are points, pretty much. Alright. Let's continue with the level. Try finishing the level, actually. You see, uh, Poochie does it for you, so you don't even need to sniff around right there. And here is where a block is. You can hit it with an egg, you open it, and the last tart to the level! Thanks, Poochie! Poochie, you are the man, or the dog. You are my dog. You are the dog, and you just get a random free melon right here. That's nice. And this is the end of the level, yeah. Actually, if you go through this pipe, you go back to the beginning of the level. And, yep, <laughs> you go back to the beginning level, and, yeah, it's pretty much warping all around until you get all of the fruits. And you can go through the worst worst things by just jumping while on them. I'm going to go to a place where I can get the rest of the fruits in this level. Uh, I believe three would probably be good. Yeah, because there's this part right here where I can go to the left. Oh, wait, I probably should have went this, wrong, this direction. Oh, what the hell? You are a jerk. Don't like you. Alright. I wonder if there's any secrets down here. Probably not. Oh, well. Alright, one more fruit, and it's right there. The lucky fruit of the day. Oh, yes. The lucky fruit has given me all my power to become super happy. And there we go, that is the first level of the first page. That was Treasure Hunt and Beginnings, on the first page of Beginnings. I got a pretty low score actually. Oh, I don't care. Yes, 2,000 is a low score. I don't know. I don't care, I don't care about score. I don't know about you. Oh, happy time. It's time for singing. And so, the adventure begins. And the Yoshis go out to find that tree that we talked about earlier. And Poochie the dog helped too, and there was elephants there too, and they were stupid because they can go easily around them. And everything's all good so far, um, everything seems pretty cool, I mean it was just a grassland. The rest of the game's probably not going to be all that scary. Um, this game seems pretty happy and pretty, you know, not intimidating at all. Hey, what the? What the hell? Page 2, Cavern. Next time on Let's Play Yoshi's Island. Page 2, Cavern. Level 1, Bone Dragon Pit. Good night.